another episode of Cardboard Craft. Today we're going to be making Thor's hammer, uh, Milnir, from every Marvel comic there ever was. Let's get started! Materials! You'll need some EVA foam. This is the thickest stuff I could find at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you also need a box knife, some silver uh, acrylic paint because I am scared to use uh, spray paint for fear that it will eat the foam. A wooden dowel. Uh, this can also be substituted with PVC. A ruler. Uh, some paint brushes. Hot glue. Extra hot glue sticks. And possibly some other things we'll find along the way. So here I have a little uh, design little thing where I sort of designed out how big everything's going to be. And I'm measuring in centimeters. There are, And there, are, uh, all the measurements for all the pieces will be in the description below. So we're going to start here by cutting out the biggest square uh, four times, and that is going to be uh, 23 centimeters by 13 centimeters. Be sure to sharpen your knife like constantly because it gets really dull doing this, cutting this foam stuff. Here are our first four foam squares. Next, we're going to do two of these front squares, 13 by 13 centimeter. Okay, now you're going to cut uh, four strips just like these. 2 centimeters wide and uh, 23 centimeters long. Four of those. Boom! Next, cut out uh, eight 13 by 2 uh, centimeter strips. Boom! Alrighty, next you're going to measure the middle of your... Um, one foam one of the bigger foam sheets uh and drill a hole in the middle that is the exact same size as your dowel rod boom okay next you're actually going to glue everything together except for one of the 23 by 13 pieces and basically to give you an idea of how we're going to do it is we're going to take uh like this and then all the shorter lengths will go around it like that uh a four to each square and then each of these goes on the side of one of the bigger sheets. So you, yeah, you guys get how to do that. And if you don't, uh, you'll see it when it's done. Now this is all, of course, with, done with hot glue, and then you can also do duct tape on the inside for reinforcement. After you've got it all taped and glued together, you can cut out uh, little triangles to go in these little four corners here. Next, cut your del rod or PVC pipe to length, and make sure you have at least two centimeters extra space from uh, here to up. Next, stuff it, stuff it with newspaper. Next, you can put on the last few pieces of the hammer. Ba boom! That might have been the hardest part of the entire project. And don't forget to put uh, triangles in the spaces there. And then the next thing we're going to do is take our dowel rod or PVC pipe, put some hot glue on the end, and put it right in there, and make sure it's nice and straight when you hit the other side, uh, so that it doesn't look crooked when you're done. Whoa! Next thing we're going to do is take our silver spray paint, and... I mean spray paint, not spray paint, just our silver paint, and paint it. We're not doing spray paint because I'm afraid it will eat the foam. Boom! Okay, so now the last thing we're going to do before we wrap the handle is cut a circle out of your remaining black foam and or foam, whatever it is, whatever color, and uh, glue it onto the top and paint it silver as well. So now that we've got that on, the next thing we're going to do is wrap the handle in uh, some brown cloth. And how we're going to do this is we're going to cut one really big long strip, maybe several if we don't have enough uh, to go in one long strip. And then we're also, and then we're going to fold over the edges uh, like that and iron them down. And then we'll glue it on uh, so that the edges do not come up. Or not glue the edges down, we'll just glue the cloth onto the handle. So here it is folks, the final product. This grip makes it super comfortable to hold and look super awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Cardboard Craft. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe!